Good day viewers, you are welcome. How to solve these functional equations? We have f of x plus 1 equals x squared plus 7x plus 10. So what we do here is, we want to find f of x, but from this domain, we have x plus 1. So this is very easy to solve, as I'm going to be presenting two different methods to solve this. So let's see method 1. So from here, we must know that the value of x here is a member of, of real number. Then we consider f of x plus 1. This equals x squared plus 7x plus 10 is a quadratic. Then we have to factorize it. So we look for two numbers as the sum will be 7 and the product will be 10. And the two numbers are 5 and 2. So we have this as x squared plus 5x plus 2x. So this gives us 7x, then plus, plus 10. And from here, we can easily group this. So we group this together, and we also group this together. Then we have f of x plus 1 equals so when we group this we put it in bracket as x squared plus 5x and also plus also this one we have 2x plus plus 10 so after we have grouped it let's say we have f of x plus 1 this equals so let's factor out x from here by factoring out x, we have x into bracket of. So this becomes x plus 5 plus also 2 we go here. By factoring out 2, we have x plus x plus 5. Then the next step, we have x plus 5 that is common. So we take 1 and we combine their coefficients. So here is f of x plus 1 equals x plus x plus 2 and uh, also x plus x plus 5 then we have this as the factor of the quadratic above then into here we consider x plus 1 as our domain so if this is our domain then we have to we have to make sure that x plus 2 and x plus 5 they have uh, they look same thing as x plus 1 then what to do is we have to manipulate this so by manipulations of x plus 2 and x plus 5 so a remain f of x plus 1 equals so we need x plus 1 okay then we have to add plus 1 to it. So this one will be in bracket. And also, we have this one as x plus 1. Then we have plus 4. So this is what we need here. So as far as we have f of x plus 1 here, x plus 1 and x plus 1. So it is easy to change this one to x. Then anywhere we see x plus 1 here, since we have changed this domain, though all of them becomes x here, then x plus 1. So multiply by x plus x plus 4. Then we can see this as f of x equals, when we expand this, x times x, that is x squared plus x times 4 we have, we have 4x plus 1 times x, that is x plus, and 1 times 4, we have, we have 4. And next, we have this as f of x equals, so here is x squared plus 5x plus, plus 4. And here is the solution to this problem as the first method. So we get x squared plus 5x plus 4 for f of x only. Then for the second method, 
So we consider this as method two. So we are given f of f of x plus one equals x squared plus seven x plus plus ten. Then we let x plus one. Suppose we let x plus one equals another letter. So if I choose, so let's say I choose m. That is, we have to make x the subject of the formula here. x equals m m minus one. So we transfer one to other side. Then from here, we can see that anywhere we see f of x plus one, uh, x plus one, we replace it with m. And anywhere we see x, we replace it with m minus one. So f becomes f of m equals m minus 1 raised to power 2 plus 7 into bracket of m minus 1 plus plus 10. And from here, we have f of m equals, so we have to expand this, m minus 1 squared. So this gives us m squared minus 2m plus 1. Then plus, by open this, we have 7 times m, that is 7m minus 7 times 1, we have 7, then here is plus 10. Being a constant value, we have this as f of m equals, so we have only m squared from here. Then here is minus 2m plus 7m, so that gives us plus 5 m. The a is 1 minus 7 plus 10. So let's see 1 plus 10 first. 1 plus 10 is 11, then 11 minus 7. So from here, we have f of m equals m squared plus 5m, then a is plus. When we take 7 out of 11, we have 4. Then we need to find f of x, not f of m. So we have to replace x, m with x with m. Then we have f of x equals x squared plus 5x plus plus 4. And here is the result to this problem as the two methods give the same answer. So the first one is manipulation method and the second one is substitution method. Hope you learned something. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next class. Bye bye.